A couple months ago, I received a ton of menstrual cups. Some I purchased, some I had a friend purchase off of the Amazon UK site, some I traded for, and some were gifted to me. Receiving so many in a short amount of time, I'm having a hard time keeping up with the requests. I might be skipping some of the unboxings, but I will still give you information about each of the cups that I received. Today I'm going to talk about the Formunsa cup. It's the first legal cup in Taiwan. I'm going to do an unboxing, show you what you get, and then do a walkthrough of the cup and show you all the little details about it. So let's get started. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. A couple of years ago, pictures of this cup were floating around and it hadn't launched yet, so we weren't sure if it was going to actually be put on the market, and I'm happy to see that it was. It's very similar to the Femi Cycle Cup. This cup comes in three different sizes, actually two different sets. Uh, you do get two cups per set. There is a standard size and a large size. You also receive a training cup, and according to the company, you can also use the training cup if you just have a light flow. So let's go down to the table and take a look at it. I'm going to do a quick turnaround of the box. You can pause it if you need to. So here are the two cups that I received. This is the training cup or the light day cup and this is the large cup. The training cup is actually longer than the large uh, just because the stem on it or that ring um, it is 54 and a half millimeters, 30 millimeters without the stem, 36 and a half millimeters at the widest part and this cup holds 10 milliliters to the rim. It might be good for discharge days, spotting, or a very light flow. Now I don't have the smaller size of the actual cup. I believe the training cups are the same size between the different sets, but the smaller size measures 54 millimeters high and 44 uh, millimeters in diameter. Uh, I, I believe that's at the widest part. And the capacity on the small is 20 milliliters. The large cup measures 52 millimeters with the stem. Without the stem, it measures 44. The diameter at the widest part is 49. And the capacity of this cup is 30 millimeters to the rim. If you notice, my measurements did come out a little different than what is printed on the box. The design between the training cup and the large cup are the same except for the stems. Uh, they both have a ring stem, but the training cup does have this elongated one. So starting off with the stem, it is the ring style stem, and it is a thinner piece of silicone, but it has enough meat on it that it doesn't feel like it's going to snap off when I pull on it. It does feel like it's nice and sturdy. You can trim the stem off, but I would leave a little nub on each side where it meets the cup because there isn't an extra piece of uh, seal between the stem and the cup. So if you cut right down uh, to make it flush, you might actually cut right into the cup. The body on this cup is more rounded and actually shorter than the FemiCycle regular. I'm going to go ahead and bring up that cup so that you can see. Um, so it rounds off here more and doesn't taper to a straight area as fast as the FemiCycle does. The bulbous area of the Formunsa cup feels more firm than the Femi cycle. 
This cup has a secondary rim, but it is on the inside, so you won't have any speed bumps while you're inserting or, or removing it. You can see that the secondary rim starts right there, and when I place my finger on the inside and pinch it, it is rounded off, so you won't have any problems with blood getting trapped behind it. This cup does have a pour spout like the Femi Cycle, and if I pop it out, you can see that it has a design on it, and it kind of looks like a tulip. You'll notice that there is a notch right there in that inner rim, and that is so that you can fold this cup a little easier. So if I put this back in here, and I fold it right on that notch, the cup will collapse easier than if I did it on the side that has a completed rim. I tried to turn this cup inside out so that I could show you uh, the inside, but that didn't work. Uh, if I turn the cup this way so that you can see inside, you can uh, tell that it has this shine to it. So it's smooth and um, it doesn't have this frosted finish. Uh, so the blood will be able to slide off of it when you're emptying it out. The only markings on this cup in or out are right here, which are measuring numbers and measuring lines. And you can see right here, it starts off at 10, goes to 20 and 30. Like the Femi Cycle Cup and the Marula Cup, this cup also does not have any air holes on it, so it does create a good seal or suction. Personally, when I use these types of ball or bulbous type of menstrual cups, uh, I do have to reprogram my brain. They go against everything that I've created to be a habit with the other style of menstrual cups. These types of cups don't have to open completely after you insert it to collect your flow, and it can sit lower in your vaginal canal instead of being up close near your cervix or right around your cervix. I haven't actually gotten to use this cup yet. Uh, I try to use a cup at least uh, for two different periods before I give you a review on my experience and it, because I have all of those cups uh, new to me right now I'm trying to you know use them as much as I can but um, I will get to it I promise that's all I have about the Formuza for now if I missed anything or if you had additional questions go ahead and leave me a comment down below also leave me a comment down below if you think that there should be more uh, training cups on the market. I think that they might be excellent for somebody that's new to cups. Um, maybe something with a little longer stem. Uh, but I also do kind of worry about if it creates a section. Are they going to be able to break that seal? I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. Until I see you next time, take care.